the things you learn reading your own email. I'm learning how words change their meaning, morph into other meanings, disappear out of the language, and then come back again to haunt us. The word I'm interested in today is the business term marketing. In leading universities in small towns around North America years ago, the term was defined as all the steps in between the raw material and the customer. The instantiation in Europe was the Thyssen Company in the Ruhr Valley. In North America, it was the Ford Motor Company, River Rouge Plant, Coal, and iron ore came in one end, and out the other end, 72 hours later, was an engine block. It was a sight to behold. Now, things have changed. The Ford Motor Company River Rouge plant is now known for green initiatives, recycling and such. So things change, and perhaps I digress. And by the way, this was sometimes called um, vertical integration. I don't know why it wasn't called horizontal, but you know that's a whole other commentary on that word. Um, the term marketing was then hijacked by several groups, and this is what I see in my in-basket. Some say they're doing their marketing. A lot of Americans use this term. They're going marketing, meaning they're going to the grocery store to buy groceries. My real estate agent wants to market my home, meaning sell it. So we have the same term, meaning sell and buy. However, there is one common element in between that contradiction. And that is communication. No one is going to go to a grocery store who doesn't know it exists. No one is going to buy my home who doesn't know it's for sale. So then we have this term marketing communication. Now, big time business people don't use the full term marketing communication because they're too busy. They use Marcom. They save a series of syllables, but you need to know that it's marketing communication when we say Marcom which I'm never going to say again. So what I don't understand is why businesses don't begin with clear, effective, and purposeful communication. Let me read you something out of my in-basket, which is really odd. Um, let's start with uh, this one. As the seasons change and we set our sights on new goals, I'm sure your thoughts are turning to the same range of colors as the leaves of the fall. And once the season, the sights, the goals and the leaves change, then it's time for stop. I'm not interested. Whatever it is, this is like a high school poem written by someone madly in love, not interested, get to the point. Now I could use the term from journalism a back in lead. This is the case where you're not sure what the story is about. There's a little bit of mystery all the way to the waste paper basket. Not good business communication. Then there's the inappropriate familiar letter. Hi, Alan. Shame we didn't connect in my last email, but I want you to know that we know you're busy and you're getting even more busy during these challenging times. Stop. How do you know I'm busy? what on earth are you selling? And uh, you did connect. I got your email. I just didn't respond to it. And then there's taking credit for remarkably unremarkable things. Here's an example. Hi, Alan. Uh, we use the cloud to transmit your most secure information and get it back to you quickly. If you want that kind of assurance, give me a quick call. Now, this reference to the cloud is really interesting. It's kind of like someone in the 60s bragging that they've moved from wooden filing cabinets to metal filing cabinets to store documents, or they use manila envelopes, or they will let you, the customer, decide whether it's wood, metal, manila, how you want things stored. I couldn't care less. The other thing is the cloud actually can create a security breach and a criminal charge in some jurisdictions. So uh, no thanks. By the way, I called this company and I said, what on earth business are you in? Turns out they're in the translation business, English to French back again. And I said, well, why do you mention the cloud? Oh, well, it's just something, you know, current and uh, hip to mention. Well, I don't think so. So marketers, here's some advice. Get on with it and leave the happy and familiar talk to the Hallmark greeting company. Go back to basics with unique selling points, with features, advantages, and benefits, and then really market. 